Hello and welcome to Secrets. On today's video, we have a quiz on science on the topic climate change. So let us begin. Question number one. The Paris Agreement on Climate Change proposes to cap global temperature rise this century well below Option A, 2 degrees Celsius, Option B, 5 degrees Celsius, and Option C, 3 degrees Celsius. The correct answer is Option A, 2 degrees Celsius. Under the agreement, countries set their own targets for reducing emissions of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. Question number 2. Which of the following is not a greenhouse gas? Option A, ozone. Option B, nitrous oxide. And option C, nitrogen. The correct answer is option C, nitrogen. Greenhouse gases are gases that can trap heat. Question number 3. Which of the following activities contributes more to climate change? Option A, farming. Option B, meat production. And option C, fishing. The correct answer is option B, meat production. Researchers found that cattle raised for beef are responsible for far more greenhouse gas emissions than other animals. Question number 4. If the 2015 Paris Agreement commitment on global temperature rise is not followed, climate scientists suggest a scenario by 2050, a tipping point beyond which our planet's natural processes trigger uncontrollable warming. Name the scenario. Option A, hothouse earth scenario, option B, watershed scenario, and option C, toxic air scenario. The correct answer is option A, hothouse earth scenario. If regional climate tipping points tumble beyond 2 degrees Celsius warming, it would irrevocably disrupt ecosystems and societies. Question number 5. She recently won Amnesty International's Ambassador of Conscience Award, among other honors, in recognition of her efforts to organize school children to take part in climate protests. Who is this climate warrior? Option A. Greta Thunberg. Option B. Mary Kopini. And Option C. Malala Yousafzai. The correct answer is Option A. Greta Thunberg. The 16-year-old Miss Thunberg started a weekly vigil outside Sweden's parliament in 2018, demanding action on climate change. Question number 6. According to a recent State of India's Environment report carried out by the Center of Science and Environment, India's greenhouse gas emissions rise between 2010 and 2014 was alarming. What is the percentage rise? Option A. More than 500%. Option B, more than 20%. And option C, more than 3%. The correct answer is option B, more than 20%. In 2018, 11 states recorded major extreme weather events that claimed 1,425 lives. Question number 7. According to the United Nations, an increasing number of people globally are facing displacement due to droughts, famines, rising sea levels, and other natural disasters caused by climate change. This class of migrants have been labeled as environmental refugees or climate migrants. What is the number of such people predicted by 2050? Option A. 1 billion. Option B. 200 million. And Option C. Half the world population. The correct answer is option B, 200 million. Currently, forecasts vary from 25 million to 1 billion environmental migrants by 2050, with 200 million being the most widely cited estimate. Question number 8. A sea ice-free Arctic summer is among the doomsday scenarios climate scientists predict will happen much sooner than estimated. For a sea ice-free Arctic summer, what should be the volume of ice that the Arctic Ocean contains? Option A. 1 million square kilometer. Option B. 100,000 million square kilometer. And option C. 100 square kilometer. The correct answer is option A. 1 million square kilometer. New research shows an ice-free Arctic is more likely to occur closer to 2030 than 2050. Question number 9. 
The Amazon forest dieback is one of the most feared climate-induced phenomena that would amplify global warming by 2050. What does a forest dieback cause? Option A: Release carbon stored in forests. Option B: Amplify drought conditions. And option C: Mass death of animals. The correct answer is option A: Release carbon stored in the forests. It is projected that the savanization of Amazon will cause the region to become a source of CO2. Question number 10. Who among the following world leaders has been awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for taking up cause of climate change? Option A: Barack Obama. Option B: Al Gore. And option C: Jimmy Carter. The correct answer is option B: Al Gore. Mr Gore's campaign made the award winning film An Inconvenient Truth and a book by the same name This was the end to our video I hope it was helpful and thank you for watching